And welcome back to Hannity's America. Now this week we continue our Beyond Belief series with a story that some say is nothing short of divine intervention. Now during this economic crisis, many people who are desperate to sell their homes, well they're putting their faith in the mysterious powers of St. Joseph. The American economy is still reeling from the mortgage mess and people all over the country are trying to sell homes they just can't afford anymore. But with financial institutions going bankrupt and so much economic uncertainty, the housing market is suffering now more than ever. Thankfully, there are some successful home sellers, and many of them swear by a mysterious religious ritual that they say helped them make the sale. The unusual Christian custom is becoming so popular that even non-Christians are giving it a try. The faithful believe that in order to sell your home quickly, you've got to bury a statue of St. Joseph. He was the worldly father of Jesus Christ and the husband of the Virgin Mary. According to the Bible, before they were even married, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. He knew he wasn't the father and could have called the wedding off, but Joseph decided instead to heed the call of an angel that appeared to him in a dream. The messenger of God told him that the child was in fact conceived of the Holy Spirit and asked Joseph to go through with the marriage. St. Joseph had a hard time of it. He had a hard time to remember he was asked to take on a woman who was pregnant whom in a dream he was told that she was impregnated by the Holy Spirit. That's a tough thing to do. He had a hard time of it and he always stayed in the background. Very humble but remember he was a tough guy and he did the right thing in a very hard situation. After the birth of Jesus there is very little written in the Bible about Joseph but we do know that he was a carpenter by trade. And according to the Catholic Church, not only is Joseph the patron saint of laborers, he's on the side of home buyers and sellers too. He is now the patron saint of laborers. Uh, he's the patron saint of people who work with their hands. He's the patron saint of home sellers, home buyers. He's the patron saint of a lot of people because he was just a very good and humble man. Today, homeowners are relying on the powers of Joseph's strong character and great faith to help them sell their homes. St. Joseph home sale kits are in demand at Christian stores and on the internet. The set usually includes a statue, a small bag, and step-by-step -step instructions. Even real estate agents recommend trying a little divine intervention. As a realtor, I think anything at all that will help sell your home, that will help the home seller feel good about it and give them hope, is the way to go and they should definitely do it because it can't hurt it can only help when i've brought it up in the past most of the realtors that i've spoken to have said oh yes i've used it definitely have used it according to the custom the saint joseph statue must be buried upside down in front of the property to be sold some bury it in flower pots and planters but most believe the statue should be placed into a hole in the ground preferably near the for sale sign after the house is sold, St. Joseph should be removed from the ground and displayed in a place of honor inside the seller's new home. There is no reason that I can come up with that this house sold other than that St. Joseph definitely came to my aid. Deborah Riccio tried for eight months to sell her house but didn't get a bite. Then she bought a statue of St. Joseph. I actually purchased the St. Joseph statue and on a Friday I took it to my church to be blessed. That Saturday morning was when I signed the listing, and right after I signed the listing, I came home and I buried the statue of St. Joseph. That Sunday morning, I started getting phone calls, and between Sunday and Tuesday night, I had four people come and look, and I had an offer on Wednesday. I was just amazed and shocked at the response I was getting from the people coming through, not to mention four days later, I had a signed contract. So is this unique home selling ritual an expression of faith, or is it just plain superstition? If you think a little statue is going to sell your house on its own power, that's not Christian faith. If you think St. Joseph on his own power is going to sell your house, that's not Christian faith. But if you believe that God wants to answer your prayer through the intercession of a holy man like St. Joseph, I think God's going to hear that prayer. You can bury it in the front of the house, you can bury it in the back of the house, you can bury it standing up, you can bury it in a plastic bag. As long as it's buried in the ground and you have faith that it's going to work, that's really the key. If someone really needs to sell their house and they do believe in St. Joseph and they want to bury the St. Joseph statue, I would absolutely tell them to do it, but not to do it out of superstition and not to do it because somebody else said they sold their house that way, to do it because you believe in the power of St. Joseph. And I think if you truly believe, I think it will work for you.
So at a time when so many people are desperate to sell their homes, can a small statue and a lot of faith be the answer to their prayers, or is it all just beyond belief?